There are many aspect ratios used in filmmaking, but the two most common are 1.85 by 1 and 2.39 by 1. In this video, I want to take a look at their history and their differences. Let's start with the origins. Since 1932, most movies looked like this. But in the 1950s, Hollywood was forced to compete with television. One innovation that emerged was to create a larger image by making it wider. Several techniques were used, but in the end, two of them prevailed. A 2.39 by 1 aspect ratio was achieved using anamorphic lenses. When filming with these, a widescreen picture would be squeezed onto standard 35mm film. During projection, the frame would then be de-squeezed. Initially, this anamorphic process resulted in a 2.35 by 1 image, before eventually settling on what it is today. This ratio is now commonly referred to as scope. A 1.85 by 1 was used to create a widescreen picture without the use of anamorphic lenses. Instead, the film would be shot using standard 35mm film. The filmmakers would then use what's called a mat to block the top and bottom of the frame. This image would then be projected on a wider screen. Today, this aspect ratio is known as flat. These two different techniques continued to be the industry standards, even as other innovations emerged, and this included the development of Super 35 in the 1980s. This type of film is simply returned to the stock used during the silent era. It removes the soundtrack to create a wider frame and comes in both a 4-perf and a 3-perf variation. Perf refers to the perforations on the sides of the film. Both varieties can be matted to 1.85 by 1, or 2.39 by 1. However, this format was meant for production only. The final picture needed to be adapted to standard 35mm for projection. In the 2000s, digital cameras appeared on the scene, using a sensor instead of film. These now come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and resolutions, depending on the camera. However, the digital cinema initiatives came out with three standard containers for projection. 4096 by 2160, creating a 1.9 by 1 aspect ratio. 3996 by 2160, which is 1.85 by 1 and 4096 by 1716, producing 2.39 by 1. All other ratios are either letterboxed or pillarboxed to fit. Now we come to the part of the video where I give my opinion. Which of these two is the best? Well, I like to look at it from the perspective of the audience. One reason people go to the cinema is to see a movie on a really large screen. The bigger the image, the better the experience. If this was the 1950s or 1960s, I would say that 2.39 by 1 was better, because at the time, widescreens were exactly that, wider screens. A movie that was 1.85 by 1 would have looked like this. Now compare that to 2.39 by 1, where the frame would have been wider, taking up a physically larger space. Sometime in the 90s though, theaters began to standardize screens to something closer to 1.85 by 1. Now if a 2.39 by 1 picture was being projected, it would create a smaller image. Another reason why I think 1.85 by 1 is better is because of TVs. A television is the most common way to consume movies at home. It has an aspect ratio of 1.78 by 1, which is really close to 1.85 by 1, whereas 2.39 by 1 is nowhere near being the same, resulting in a smaller picture. So in the end, 1.85 by 1 does create a larger image in most cases. You can still find some older theaters where the screens really are wider, but they're becoming increasingly rare. You could also make the argument that anamorphic film provides more resolution, but with digital projection and higher quality film stocks, this difference is becoming less noticeable. For me, it's about taking up the largest space possible to create that immersive cinematic experience.